Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the 2013 found footage horror movie Skinwalker Ranch. And <clears throat> this is a movie that my brother has basically lent me and he's been going on at me for a long long time to watch this film. And I was talking to him recently and telling him that I'm enjoying watching a lot of the found footage movies that I haven't seen before and that I'm likely to do a top 10 list at some point of my favourite found footage movies. And he basically says, well, you can't do a top 10 list without watching this one, Skinwalker Ranch. This is one of his personal favourites. So um, I have watched it now. Um, and I have to say, this is... A very very interesting found footage movie impressive in a lot of ways um, and I did enjoy watching it um, it didn't just have the impact on me that I think my brother, my brother expected um, but it was a well-made found footage movie and if you've never heard of Skinwalker Ranch and if you've never seen it what this film focuses on is there is a ranch out somewhere in um, the countryside in America somewhere. I think it is it Arizona. I think it's Arizona or something like that. And there is a farmer of this ranch who has a wife and a son. And there is some footage showing the son basically just disappearing out of nowhere on his birthday. I think it is. Um, and this is one of those found footage movies when it says it's um, inspired by true events. So take that with a pinch of salt, as you do with any movies like this. Um, so what basically happens is um, sometime later um, a team of scientists turn up from is it, is it the MD something like that you know one of these um, paranormal research companies they send a team of experts out to this ranch in the hope of helping the the rancher get some answers as to what has happened to his son um, so the, you've got the main lead scientist and he brings a couple of people on board who are um, independent so he brings like an investigative journalist with him he brings like this expert in um, in vet veterinary stuff you know like she's an animal expert and they bring on a military guy to do all the techie stuff etc etc so it's quite a balanced team and they set up all these cameras all over the ranch outside and inside um, in the hope of catching some evidence and boy do they catch some evidence it's it's one of those where it continues to escalate as the days go on the longer they're there they learn that it might not be the first time that um, this team um, an MD team has been out there uh, they find some evidence to suggest that they were there in the 60s and this is a hot spot area for um, UFO activity, paranormal activity, all that kind of stuff and they even bring out um, an Indian guy um, to like you know try and lift the curse of the land um, and he basically says there's nothing I can do you're on your own and opts it does one so and that's, that's basically what this movie is about. It's this team trying to find what happened to this guy's son, but also trying to capture evidence of this uh, supernatural, you know, extraterrestrial activity that's going on. Um, and there's also s some strange beast wandering around the ranch. So that's your, bit, that's your movie, basically, Skinwalker Ranch here. Now, like I say, I, this film was f well made, well acted. Um, and to a certain degree fairly believable at times and um, there's a couple of actors you'll recognize in here um, but it it felt this film felt a little bit disjointed to me um, it was effective like I said, this this beast creature thing running around the ranch uh, kind of confused me a bit um, was this thing a, was it a uh, a skinwalker this creature it never really makes it clear so you get that kind of activity and then you get this extraterrestrial activity and all these strange noises and things that they're seeing going off and then they get glimpses of the missing child at a certain point I think is it 10 past 11 something like that running through the kitchen and um, which suggests that's paranormal not extraterrestrial and 
it's basically a hotbed of all this different activity and it never fully makes it clear to which degree it's it is is the most powerful activity um, it, it does it does at the end it, it gives you a couple of reveals at the end that suggest it's one thing but from what you've seen previously in the movie it does add a little bit of layer of confusion as to what's going on is this extraterrestrial activity or is it something else but then it kind of answers its own question at the end but leaves you a little bit more confused it has some good scares in here it has some good jumps um, as with any found footage type movie um, it makes it more believable if people have got a reason to have cameras um, carrying around cameras and they kind of do have the reason here because they're trying to capture evidence and there's cameras basically all over the ranch capturing a lot of stuff as well so it's not just like handheld stuff that you see all the time um, so it answers that question particularly uh, in, in, in a way that makes it believable um, kind of things that let it down as well is, is there's some of the characters are not particularly likeable uh, but not, not everybody can be likeable I suppose uh, to cut a long story short I did enjoy this um, I thought it was decent it wasn't exactly what I expected or hoped for but I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it was a reasonably effective um, found footage horror movie and if you've never seen it before I do recommend it um, so there you go guys will this make it into my top 10 of found footage movies that I'm going to do as soon as I have caught up with a couple more um, I've still got two or three uh, on my watch list but please please put in the comments any that you recommend personally that I haven't said I haven't seen them I shall track them down and watch them so once again guys thank you very very much for watching